Okay, let's check those right fast. I would like those to be right on top of each other um, with no real space in between them. So I'm going to send this on send number three and receive on that same bus. Delay and polarity. Okay, let's check the guitar tracks. I believe these guitars are the same thing. They're just, oh, uh, one is a different amp. Or maybe just two mics on the same amp. So that definitely means I want to check the polarity and phase relationship there. I'm going to send this on four. I'm going to receive on four. Okay, those are good. I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm just going to remove those. Now the keys here, I was uh, listening to this a little earlier when I was doing a little run through and the keys are actually recorded the way I prefer them to be. There's a um, they've got a mic on the top rotor of uh, the organ and the lower register. Let me grab a little section here and we'll kind of listen to it. Same thing, I'm just going to check real fast on the uh, Pro-Q2. That's fine. There, um, I mean, there are two different signals coming off that Leslie cabinet, but I just wanted to make sure they weren't interacting with each other in a bad way. All right, let's make sure these horns aren't bleeding too much into each other and uh, knocking each other out of phase. Mmm, that's a sexy sound. Okay, they are bleeding pretty heavy into each other's microphones, but... No, that's, that's not a problem. That sounds great. Okay, let's put the lead vocal up here. And next order of business is to check the levels before we do anything else. I'm actually going to drag these uh, auto aligns down a little bit. Now I can already tell that this kick drum is going to have a problem over in this area here. Let me zoom in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. These transients right in here are not going to be good. They're, they're playing pretty heavy right in there, so I'm going to need to be real careful around this area. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull that down. It's still clipping at negative seven. Well, clipping the VU meter, that means that it's going over my uh, preferred level for proper gain staging, which in this case is negative 18 uh, dB full scale. So it's not clipping the channel, it's not clipping any converter, but it's clipping a level that I need it to be at. So I'm gonna, that's why I'm pulling it down. Okay, let's check the next. Good. Let's check the snare top. I'm going to go to the loudest section right here and start there. 
it's always good to use pre fader metering when when doing this the way to do that by the way come up here to the uh, universal audio symbol we're going to go into settings display pre fader That's pretty good. Let's check the bottom. That's fine. Okay. Oh yeah, this is one that I pulled way up to uh, check phase on. Let's pull it back down and then come up from there. Let's check the overheads. Okay, moving right along. Okay, it takes care of the drums. Let's check the uh, DI on the bass. Good. I want a healthy level of this bass, especially the DI, and we'll get into why that is here shortly, but let's check the amp. Okay, that seems about right. Uh, electric guitar one. Okay, those look good. Now the next part is the keys. I'm not sure why these are recorded so low, but I'm having to pull up the gain a pretty good bit to get them in the right area I want them in. Okay, let's check the Wurlitzer. That's an interesting instrument because it's mostly just transients. You've got to be careful when you gain stage one of those. It's kind of like gain staging a, sa a snare or a kick drum.
I'm going to leave that where it is, even though it's uh, sort of clipping the VU meter uh, on those super heavy notes. That's okay. It's not uh, totally ruining the, the take. Rainbow colors fall from clear blue skies. People, people will come and people will come and. You know that is true. Okay, I'm okay with that. There's a couple of spots where um, it's kind of pushing a little bit too hard, but that's okay. We're going to take care of that um, when we start mixing. I may end up cutting a section and pulling down the gain, but that's okay. Okay, one of the best things you can do now is kind of come back to the mixer view since we're in pre-fader mode and watch the levels move around as we're in that middle section. I'm not so worried about the main right now. That's not, uh, it's not my concern so much as the the uh, individual tracks level okay that's okay all right real quick before i go we're going to set up some buses the drum bus a bass bus guitar bus uh keys horns and then the vocals actually the first bus we're going to make is a master bus uh we're going to call it the mix bus. Stereo mix bus. And first thing I'm going to do though is send everything over to that mix bus. You can already tell that's that's way too much being fed to it, but we're going to fix that as we go here. Okay, let's head back over. I'm going to highlight every one of these subs and make sure they're going to the mix bus. I'm going to address this uh, level right fast.
Okay, I set up a little bit of a rough mix. Uh, we've got everything going to the right place. What I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm going to uh, remove all of these VU meters. We don't need those anymore. And I'm also going to um, export or uh, mix down these tracks that have the auto align on them uh, so I can just free up some inserts. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please hit the like, please hit the bell. More videos coming soon.